as a Kenyan. When you see an elephant has been killed, or a rhino has been killed, or any other animal, the pain that I feel myself as a police officer in the first place, intrinsic kind of pain, humanly speaking, we are the people who are charged with the security of this beautiful posterity of our country. Interpol brings together all the police services and the forces in this region to make sure that uh, this region is safe from threats of crime and especially transnational organized crime. Interpol has a worldwide database spread across all the 194 member countries. There's also cooperation in terms of sharing criminal intelligence. That cooperation is purposely geared towards one goal, success in fighting a crime. As a country, we depend in a big way uh, in terms of our development on tourism. The tourism purely depends on the beauty of our environment. Environmental crime and on drive crime is something which was not initially taken very, very, very important to. It wasn't taken as one of the major crimes which are perpetrated against a country. It is now we are realizing the hospitals, the roads, the communities, development are actually proceeding from these animals. So uh, it's now we are realizing the, 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 the importance of the environment crime, the world life uh, crime as a country. In most cases where we needed some specialized kind of uh, attention, Interpol has been uh, able to come on board. And because now of the specialized nature and the more advanced uh, tools, we have been able to have criminals, international, being smoked out and the recoveries of big magnitude. Coming together actually make sure that we make the environment of criminals absolutely hostile. Mombasa port is the gateway of the Republic of Kenya to the entire world. And uh, it is one port which uh, the entire east and central depend on. The cartels, the smugglers, the criminal networks, they will want to penetrate through the cracks to sneak in uh, an illicit or illegal shipment, hoping that uh, because uh, there are so many containers, we may overlook and uh, disregard maybe a shipment and say we can only inspect so much and uh, we need to be ahead of the game and we have put a lot of infrastructure to address that to mitigate and deter that to make it less attractive this will not be a success without the support of interpol and the global network they have to share and exchange information Whatever you declare has to be the, the true thing. If I get something else, then it is not going to be easy for them. Remove and arrange them nicely for verification. Put the side with the marks and numbers on top. On top, eh? Yeah, like that. We may look for concealments, let's say narcotic. We may get even ivory, they can be there. The port of Mombasa is busy. It is a transshipment port, it is a transit port, it is an import port, it is an export port. So teamwork is a must. Enforcement. Our DCI officers and all those parties, we complement one another. We can't do without each other. 
The Kenya Revenue Authority, Kenya Ports Authority, Kenya Wildlife Services and other security agencies have seized two containers full of ivory which were declared as ceramics. And at least 40 ivory pieces had been counted from one of the containers, translating to 20 elephants killed. My name is uh, Mr. George Motonya. I'm in charge of our criminal investigations at the port of Mombasa. The concealment was done here. Then, after it is done, it was covered by the hood. 337 pieces. 337 pieces of ivory. Yeah, we've been working together to stop this happening and other criminal acts. We come across a, a variety of crimes. Uh, because what we have gathered along the way is that there's the interconnectivity of uh, organized crimes globally. This is another interception of uh, rosewood timber. This is one of the most valuable indigenous uh, tree to the market world is like gold. The cartels that deal in illegal trade, they pretend to be exporting coffee or tea and yet they conceal the, the goods inside those containers. This is how the smugglers keep records, uh, the numbers of the items inside the container. They have got their own language of knowing how many rosewood timbers are inside the container by encrypting on the door so that the recipient will be able to know the total number based on the records written on the door. Our guiding doctrine is unity of purpose and unity of effort. As we rely also on the support of our international partners and other key agencies like Interpol to support us in these initiatives. If a shipment gets through, it is the image of the country which uh, is soiled. When we cut them off here, we also curtail their trade in the destination country. We would like to advise um, any criminal who, who thinks that he can use the port of Mombasa to rethink. Think again, because we will find you and we shall arrest you. Transnational organized crimes knows no borders. And it is very important that uh, countries in this region and uh, the world over must work together. When you look at transnational organized crime, Interpol becomes very important for purposes of coordinating responses to such crimes. We are checking this vehicle that has come from Tanzania, discarding some farm produce and some finished goods. All vehicles that come into the country are checked by all the government agencies here at the border to ensure that they are not only fit for purpose, but they also don't have illegal things in them. From a shipment like this, you might find ivory hidden inside the ground nuts. Our wildlife officers here have detained people with pangolin scales, 200 pieces from Tanzania. So it is something that can be gotten from such a consignment. You cannot succeed in fighting crime alone. You need to come together so that you can share information on how to tackle that crime. If there is anything of suspicious or crime has been reported, it brings officers from Kenya and the officers from Tanzania and they build the teamwork. At times, you know, if things like this happen, then they know this is a Tanzanian who has committed this or it passed through Tanzania, it brings a very bad image to my country. You see? Yeah, it doesn't matter what uniform you have or which nation you are. Crime is a crime and a criminal is a criminal. Everybody should combat it and fight it any time.
So this suitcase here was uh, intercepted at, uh, at the terminals with the passenger who was traveling to Lagos. Uh, some drugs were found inside, concealed in the fourth bottom of the suitcase. Uh, more than eight kilos of heroin was found. There were some footpads uh, which were found. Footpads concealed in the handbags, uh, in the fourth bottom of the handbags. And also heroin was also recovered from them. The people who are arrested normally will not even disclose who is the person behind it. You know, they don't say. It is him who have you arrested him with the drugs. He's the one who carries the cross. These are just couriers. These are people who have just been sent, but they are people who are behind them. Because these are gangs. These are not just small people. <laughs> you can be in drugs then to fund other organized crime. You can even be doing drug trafficking to fund terrorism, fund other crimes, other organized crimes. It's a big, it's a big challenge. It's a big problem, global. We have found a lot of interlinkage. To find one who we are actually accusing of one right crime, we are accusing him of drug trafficking, human trafficking, terrorism, financing, other related crimes. So there is a lot of connection on the same. It's an absolute an enterprise. The players of the crime are more or less the same, who have perfected the game of the wildlife crime. If you see the actual poachers who go to the reserves and to the game parks, they are being used. They use cheap liver because it is an easy means of getting money. What we have here is wire snares. They are used by poachers to trap wild drive. Maybe for bush meat, the animal comes and gets either its necks on those snares, on those wires. The wire gets tighter and tighter. The animal suffocates itself with the wire, or the animal gets itself on the limbs. Either the limbs are broken or the, the poacher comes and now kills because the animal has been maimed. It's a very crude way to catch all drive animals. The agencies that we have there is the National Police Service, the Office of Director of Public Prosecution. So they will assist in when it comes to the prosecution of the suspect. They will take over the case, they will advise on what, pro on what needs to be in the file for the suspect to be prosecuted and the, the case to be successful. There are two rhino horns, part of recovery from Operation Thunder 2020, uh, weighing about 1.2 kgs. We have not been able to establish where exactly they were poached from. Over the years it has been a problem, but for the last few years we've been managing. Quite, the numbers are quite low compared to the past. We have quite a number of rhinos in the parks, and uh, we put our men on the ground to ensure that the rhinos are protected at each and every time, day and night. Every name here is somebody who died you know, or who lost their lives on the line of duty. And uh, every year they keep, it keeps growing. So we are always reviewing our ways, how we operate, so that we, we beat the criminals. We get them before they get us. It's always our motto. In Kenya, we normally say our environment is our inheritance. If you don't conserve your environment, what will you hand over to your children? It is now we are realizing how serious it is. And today that's why you can see we are partnering with Interpol, other international agencies to ensure they come on board and assist us in the best way they can so that we can have the logistical capacity, the training capacity, uh, even investigative capacity to ensure any international criminal, organized crime to come and take advantage of our neighboring environment is absolutely extinguished to ensure that the posterity of our environment, our wildlife is maintained. It is very important that uh, these criminals are arrested and prosecuted and uh, convicted to serve the longest imprisonment term possible because that will be a deterrent to the would be criminals who have or would like to commit similar crimes. Mm -hmm.